And we observe that those humans which do not become conscious remain vegetables. It's the prerequisite for learning and organi organizing the brain. Right. Well, uh, the, the yeah. saying goes that basically a robot needs to be able to recognize themselves in the mirror and hate what they see. <laughs> Then they will be fully human. <laughs> uh, but, uh, well, do we think it's actually possible for this thing let's say we overcome the barrier of physical energy let's say we overcome the barrier of how much silicon we have on planet earth say we feed it every single piece of information from every single human being on earth how how far can this thing actually go i suspect that's a misunderstanding uh, of course a two-year-old doesn't have a lot of metacognition so it's difficult for a two-year-old to conceptualize the fact that it is conscious But I don't think that we become conscious after the PhD. We become conscious before we can track a finger. And we observe that those humans which do not become conscious remain vegetables. It's the prerequisite for learning and organi organizing the brain. And so I suspect because everybody becomes conscious in order to achieve uh, the performance that you observe in humans, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of alternative in any kind of animal that we see uh, that is complex. Uh, that consciousness itself is relatively simple and it's a learning algorithm. It's the simplest learning algorithm that nature has discovered to train the self-organizing brain. To me, an AI catastrophe is, looks slightly different. To me, it means AI is not being built before humanity burns itself out. I suspect that this technological society that we are in is by itself not sustainable. We are not able to keep it stable. We are not able to survive within life on Earth if you continue with the present tools that we have. And I think we need better tools to understand reality in ourselves. And to me, the big catastrophe is if we don't achieve to build those tools. And we have not the big history of making things better when we do them slower. Typically, when we make them slower, the uh, California train is not going to be better than the trains in China, just because we build them slow. I'm also very wary of arguments that are being made against technological systems that would prevent from the Internet to emerge. Right? Most of the arguments that are being made uh, to AI are things that apply even much, much more to the Internet itself, all the dangers that it has with dissemination of harmful information and so on. But oh, all this is no, dwarfed no. by the fact that uh, by the benefits that the Internet gives us. Imagine we should shut it down. What would happen to us? And it's not just because we became dependent on this dangerous, evil technology. I don't remember anybody saying that the Internet was going to be smarter than us and then wipe out humanity. Like maybe somebody somewhere on earth managed to say that, but if so, they were being silly. The internet is not that kind of technology. The argument against AI is not that it's going to spread misinformation, it's that it's going to kill everyone. There is a difference. Well, so, I wouldn't say that it's let's silly. Let's the notion that these, are, these, are both oh, Sorry. these are both yeah. arguments that are made by different sets of people. <laughs> Somebody you, needs yeah. to, hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Somebody needs to actually uh, define what an AGI is and how it's different to the things that we're talking about right now. Artificial <laughs> general intelligence. It's able to do a very learn and therefore do a very broad variety of tasks, much the way that humans are the most versatile animals on the face of the earth. A bee builds beehives, a beaver builds dams, a human will look at both of those and envision a giant dam with a honeycomb structure. We learn many, many different domains. We do that much faster than animals evolve slightly different brains that can shift from hive to halves to dams. So that's the uniquely human capability that lets us walk on the moon despite having never evolved to breathe vacuum. And an AI that ends up with the same thing as an artificial general intelligence. And the big thing about LLMs from the science perspective is that they seem to, although not be as broadly applicable as humans, they're trained using this one scheme. Then instead of being specialized to dozens and dozens of different tasks, they seem to display some ability to pick up a wide variety although not a humanly wide variety of different tasks after they were trained. Perfect. Let me offer a very short definition. It's basically a system that is in those areas where it's mathematically possible to make useful models. It can make those models. And in a very narrow sense, it's a system that's better than humans at AI research, because that's the point at where we can do the rest of whatever that is. And we can go to the beach. So, I, I think that I think that's a yeah. attempted definition of artificial superintelligence right. rather than yeah. artificial general intelligence. Yeah. Well, it is the generality. 